uh, cycle of three topics that we're going to is going to be solved two operation equations. So now we've done the adding the opposites, we've done the multiplying reciprocals, now we want to put them together. What happens in an equation when you have two different operations? It will come down to following two separate steps. One is uh, I must remove the added number first or add opposites. Second step is going to be to remove the multiplied number. So add opposites first, multiply by reciprocal second. We're only going to look at two examples. In my first example, I have 2 times n minus 3 equals 7. Remember, when I have a number beside a variable, it's multiplied. This will happen second. I must end up with the variable by itself for my solution. So what does this mean? If I look at the left-hand side, I have a times 2 I must get rid of, and I have a minus 3 I must get rid of. We know to take subtraction, turn it always to addition. This becomes addition. What happens to the item after it becomes its opposite. So this is plus negative 3. As usual, I'm going to remove the added number. I'm going to expand this side. 2 times m plus negative 3 plus add a number. 7 plus add a number. I need to get rid of the added number. How do I do it? I add the opposite, so the opposite of negative 3 is 3. This is 3. So clean up my equation now. On the left hand side, negative 3 and 3 cancel out. Careful what you have left now. We typically had m left, not anymore. Now I have 2m left. You're going to have two different steps, an add step and a multiply step. On this side, 7 plus 3 is 10. Took care of step one, remove the added number by adding the opposite. Step two, remove the multiplied number. Remember, I need to get rid of the multiplied number by multiplying the reciprocal. Two as a fraction is two over one. The reciprocal of two over one is one over two. If I do it to one side, I must do it to the other times one over two. Twos cancel out, I'm left with m all by itself. On this side, I can reduce. 2 is a 1. This is a 5. So I end up with n equal 5 as my final. Take care of the added number first. Take care of the multiplied number second. Add opposites. Multiply by reciprocal. Let's take a look at one more example. And I'll go through just a little quicker. I have division. I have addition. Still, must get rid of the added number first. So I'm going to take the side with the variable and expand it. Notice how many equal signs I have. We used to have 1, 2, 3. Now I have 4. M equal my solution. Take the side with the variable, expand it. M, divide by 4, plus 6, plus another number. On this side, 5, plus another number. I need to get rid of the added number first, the number that is not multiplied. Opposite of 6 is negative 6. Opposite of 6 is negative 6. On the left, 6 and negative 6 give me nothing. I still have left m divide by 4. On this side, 5 plus negative 6 is negative 1. Up next, I'm going to multiply by reciprocal. Multiply, multiply. If the 4 is in the denominator, where must the other 4 go? It needs to cancel out with something. In order to cancel the denominator out, it must go in the top. 4 goes up top. Do I want an M at the bottom? No, I don't, because then the M's would go away. 4 as a fraction is 4 over 1. This side. 4 over 1. The 4's cancel out. I'm left with m on the right hand side. Negative 1 over 1. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. So this is two operation equation. Remember, I must get rid of the added number first, then get rid of the multiplied number. 
Add the opposite, multiply by reciprocal. Add the opposite, multiply by the reciprocal. That's it.